Later today, we speak to Trevor Absalom, the owner of Seashells, the childhood home of serial killer, the Rag Dolly. He will tell us more about the upcoming charity stopover at the property. No, mate, I'm just waiting for my next collection. Yeah, some kind of Day of the Dead ball or something. Hold well, on, mate, I'll have to go. Big Show's turned up. That's an amazing costume. I don't see those in the shops very often. It's E. Valentine, Britain's Most Wanted. I'm in a rush. Get going. Yeah, interview after interview. It's fucking gold dust, mate. Yeah, absolutely. I'll have that house in the south of France before I know it. Oi, I don't care how you fucking do it. You just make it happen, all right? He will do. John, the Day of the Dead party are still waiting to be picked up. I can't be right, I've got the collection in the back. John, I've just had them on the phone. They are definitely still waiting at the pickup address. I have no idea who you have in the back. John, John, are you okay? I'm all locked down, Dr. Elliot. I'm off now. See you tomorrow. So girls, you're about to spend the night in the most famous film in the world. How do you feel? Four of us are going in and four of us will come out. It's just a bit of fun for charity. Stop hyping it up. Are you not scared? Oh, come on, let's go. Hey, I've not finished talking to you. I, I've got a few more questions for you. Are you not scared at all? Well, I'm not having that. I'm just going to see what all this fuss is about. It's here. I've got to get away, quickly. Can you get that money into my account ASAP? Have fun, Dolly. Real does this feel? Get the hype and media coverage. This is crazy. It should be an awesome night. As long as that nutter doesn't turn up. That nutter killed my sister. As a reporter, it's uh, it's nice. 
I mean, being on the night shift, I'm hoping it's going to be a nice, relaxing night. I can have my bonfire, my campfire in the morning, get up, do my report, and that's me done. Come on, it's nearly time for the live radio hookup. I'm heading in. Who puts a fucking poster of that? Oh, I'm getting used to this film, lad. Well, it's not at all cracked up to be, I can tell you that. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'm hoping um, being here tonight will help me lay a few demons to rest so I can finally get on with my life. So what are your plans for Halloween then? Oh, we're going to a party, aren't we? I'm yeah. so excited. I love Halloween. Do you want to come? Yeah, go on then. Uh, what are you planning on um, dressing up as? I think I'll dress as a skeleton this nice. year. What about you? Don't really know. <laughs> what was that? Don't play games, Emma. What did you say? Joke. It's maybe just the reporter messing about outside. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll go and have a look. Ah, he's moved the bloody cut out. Yeah. It makes it so light. I think it made it so lifelike as well. It's unreal. Hey. Right, you know what? Girls, it's fine. You should move the cut out. It's totally fine. I wouldn't... Well <coughs> We have no idea how she escaped. The security on the site is watertight. If this gets out, the hospital goes quicker than say monumental fuck up. Now, I don't care how you do it, but cover this mess up or your job is on the line alongside your reputation. I understand.
Who's that? Come on, come on. She's not there. She's not on there. She's not on there. Come on. Come on. What's going on? Inspector Gates? Surprise! What the hell's going on? I suppose this message was you, was it? Yeah. Uh, certainly. Oh. She, I mean Ragdolly, she's out. Forget what the news, forget what Willa Vale are telling you. She's out. And she's looking for a sister. How the hell do you know that? I'll get to that. But let me just rewind 15 years back to that horrible time at Seashells. She was just 10 years old. And we treated her like an animal. But she was. She still is. I know. <clears throat> I just wanted to help. So I had to keep visiting her. But only the hospital staff knew about it. Nobody else knew. Nobody ever questioned it either. Yeah, you know as well as I do. At that point, she was beyond help. Yeah, I know. But as they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And that's what I tried to do. When she was having her unofficial days out, day trips and everything, it was me that was there for her. I was like a chaperone. What the hell? They let her out in public. Look, until she had a teens, no one knew what she was capable of. But then it all changed last summer. Okay, I appreciate that, but why now? Why tell me this now? It's just that two nights ago, she returned to seashells and... She killed my best friend's daughter. And I can't defend her anymore. I just can't. I just can't. Look, this conversation never happened, okay? What am I meant to do with that? I've got to go and see the Chief Constable. Look, all I will say is that she's nothing like she used to be. She looks nothing like she used to look. You wouldn't even recognise her anymore. And you know what? That's the most scary part. What do you mean by that? What's happened to her? Inspector Gates? Inspector Gates? Yeah, but uh, you owe me one, right? Okay, yeah, bye. We all know why we're here, and if you don't, let me remind you, this has been fuck up after fuck up. With all due respect, ma'am. With due respect, Officer Reed, you and the Chief Inspector are lucky to still have a job. Ma'am, we can get two armed officers to attend West Manor on Halloween night. They are the best we have. Rag Dolly and E. Valentine will not leave West Manor alive. Hold on. I thought we were just going to detain them and let the justice system do their best. That is still the plan, isn't it, ma'am? For the past two years, 
they've made us look a right laughing stock. So we do what we need to do and we bring them in, dead or alive. As you say, ma'am. Well, I've got a shift to do, ma'am, so she'll excuse me. Okay, but remember, gentlemen, this stays within the department. As far as the public are concerned, we've got a couple of copycats on the loose. Yes, ma'am. Ma Well, now we know where we stand. Yeah, we do. Yeah, uh, we know what we've got to do. Yeah, I agree. If by some rare chance they do turn up, I want us to be ready. No, we will be. These guys are the best we have. Okay. Well, if they do, they don't leave here unless it's in a box. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Thanks for coming everyone for this run through of the Halloween Scare Night Tour. The hotel will open tonight for the first time in a year. I hope the real Eve Valentine ragdolly don't show up. Bloody off now. Right, let's start the tour. Oh, I forgot something. We'll meet you in the night hall. Uh oh. And this here is the Toilet of Doom! Oh, thank you. Okay. So the tours will start at 7 o'clock. Who the fuck let you in? E. Valentine versus Ragdolly, place your bet. Come out with your hands up. You're surrounded. Sis, you are one hard bitch, but we are fucked.
breaking news as we approach Halloween night. Police have confirmed that the Rag Dolly and Eve Valentine are dead.